Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving uh, some of the learning assessment problems on Laplace transform from Mr. Irwin's book. Now, just to recall, the Laplace transform of a function ft is written by Laplace of ft or it is also written as f of s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity it's one sided Laplace of the function ft itself multiplied by e raised to the power minus st dt where s is a complex variable uh, alpha is the real uh, number or real value plus j omega is the imaginary value now uh, let's uh, solve the first problem. 13.1 If ft is e raised to the power minus at, show that fs is 1 over s plus uh, a. So we'll, uh, this was the definition for the Laplace. So we'll follow this definition. So for ft we will write eat, so Laplace of e raised to the power minus a eat will be integral of eat est. From ft we are writing eat e minus at and then these two are same base so we just add them. So e raised to the power minus s plus a t s t. And we know that the integral of e a t d t is 1 over a e a t. So we'll use this formula here. And so it will be 1 over a will be 1 over s plus a with the minus sign, so minus sign, and e raised to the power, the same thing. And now we'll put the limits. So for t is equal to infinity this term will the top will become infinity or minus infinity and then minus e raised to the power minus zero the second limit and you know e raised to the power infinity is equal to or e raised to the power actually one over infinity is equal to zero so this will become zero and e raised to the power zero is one so it will be minus one and minus and minus will become plus so the final answer is 1 over s plus a now let's come on to the second problem if ft is sine omega t show that fs is omega over s square plus omega s square so first of all uh, we'll just write the formula again so according to this formula where ft is sine omega t so this will become our uh, equation that Laplace of sine omega t is integral sine omega t e raised to the power minus st dt. Now from Euler's formula this is how sine omega t is represented in terms of exponentials. So sine omega t is e j omega t minus e minus j omega t divided by 2j. So we'll plug in that value here. So for sine omega t, now we have plugged in this value. And we simplify. Now 1 over uh, 2j we have taken out. So 1 over 2j e j omega t multiplied by e minus st. So it will be e minus, take common, so s minus j omega t. And similarly, this one will be minus e, and we're taking minus common, so it will be plus inside, so s j omega t dt. And now we use this formula uh, for Laplace transform, e a t is 1 over s a. So these two parts. Uh, separated can be written as 1 over s minus j omega we're just following this formula for this one minus this one so it will be 1 
s plus j omega in this case and if we further simplify this so we just take the LCM and the uh, removing the bracket the s terms gets cancelled so this will be 2j omega so 2j and 2j gets cancelled so it will be just omega at the top and this will be multiplied as s square plus omega square a plus a minus b a plus b and you know that when j square multiplies it becomes minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 will be plus 1 so this is the final answer now example 13.3 fs is given by ft half t minus 4 uh, e minus 2t so we can just uh, separate the two terms multiply by half it will become half t and this will become half multiplied by 4 so minus 2 e raised to the power minus 2t and we'll now write that the um, Laplace transform will be half of Laplace of t minus 2 Laplace of e raised to the power minus 2t this one and we now use the formula we know that the t Laplace transform is 1 over s square and e minus a t is 1 over s plus a so we plug in these formulas here so this will become half Laplace of t is 1 over s square from here and minus 2 Laplace of e raised to the power minus t will be s plus 2 from here and so we, the final answer can be written in this form okay now 13.4 ft is given by this value here we have to determine fs using the time shifting theorem so this is ft given here From here we take uh, the common, this term is common in both, so we take that term out, so we'll have t from here and minus 1 from here. And rewriting this, we write t minus 1 first and then this term. And now we see the time shifting property. So time shifting property says that a function shifted by t0 or T A U T minus T zero or U T minus T A is given by E raised to the power minus T zero S F S or E raised to the power minus A S F S. This is from another book, so it doesn't matter which one you follow. So the now in our case A is my uh, one. So a is minus 1 or t naught is uh, 1. So that you have to keep in mind. So our and one more thing here you have to keep in mind that this fs is the Laplace of ft not ft minus 1. It is Laplace of ft. So with this knowledge now let's proceed. So this is, if you compare, this is our, this function ft t dash up to here, and this is the ut part. So e minus t zero s or e minus a s is actually e minus one s because our uh, the the time shifting is by one. So e minus one s, and then Laplace of the function this function without shifting like I mentioned here that it is fs is Laplace of ft so here fs is Laplace of ft without shifting this we have to keep in mind so we just take t from here and we take e raised to the power minus t from here 
and now we have to take Laplace of this to get the final answer and we know that Laplace of t e raised to the power minus a t is 1 over s plus a square so we plug in this value here so in this case this is e minus s and this term will become 1 over s plus 1 square just compare this so I hope you understand this this is slightly tricky but uh, if you follow the procedures, it becomes easy. Now, this is the final answer. Okay, and the final question is 13.5. Ft is e raised to the power minus 40 t minus e minus t. So this is Ft. And he is used to, uh, he is told to use property number 2. So, property number two is the addition subtraction property that the if there are two functions which are added or subtracted, their individual Laplace transforms can also be added or subtracted. So, we just open it. These are the two functions and we take the Laplace. This one is e minus t multiplied by e minus 4t, so it will become e minus 5t, the power will be added. And just plug in the formulas, two formulas, t e a t is 1 over s plus a square, so for this we will use that formula. And e minus a t is 1 over s a, so for this we will use this formula. And so our answer will be 1 over s plus 4 because just compare a is 4 here so 1 over s plus 4 square and this is minus 1 over s plus 5 so i hope this gives you an understanding how to solve this type of a simple problems thank you